I'm ready to high heels on my tippies. <laughs> Okay. Hi beauties. Welcome back to my channel. What do I I, I haven't <laughs> I haven't vlogged in so long. What do I be saying? Hi beauties. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jazz. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It took all I had to just say that right now. What's today? It is Pink Friday, March 1st, 4.20 p.m. I'm going to the Pink Friday 2 tour. On my way AF to go see Nicki Minaj. Mind you, I've been a Nicki fan since high school. So, damn near even middle school. But I love Nicki. Like, I know she's getting a lot of backlash right now because she's an older rapper and people feel like she's hating on the younger girls that are trying to come up. Honestly, like, I mind my business. I don't care about none of that. Like, everybody's mad at Nicki. It is what it is. Like, I don't, like, a lot of these girls really can't rap. Like, honestly, I don't really like Meg The Stallion. Um, I liked Cardi when she first came out, but like, honestly, like she really can't rap. So what? I like JT as a solo artist, though. I will say that um, I like her better by herself than when she's with um, Young Miami. I love Lotto. Um, but that's it. Like these girls cannot rap. So I don't know. I've always been a Nicki fan like her music is timeless I've been listening to her music since high school I'm excited I like her new album I'm excited to hear the new stuff I'm excited to hear the old stuff I'm excited to see who she's gonna bring out me and my best friend Kai are going so I was like you know what I gotta get cute I want to have like a little Barbie theme going on since it is pink Friday I definitely am wearing pink I want my makeup to be pink I don't really wear eyeshadow anymore but my blush and my lip are going to be pink for sure. And then I have found a couple of shirts, a couple of t-shirts that I might wear. Um, they're all pink. <laughs> One says Barbie, which I really want to wear. It's just really big. So I'm probably going to have to like tuck it or like roll it, tuck it or something. And then the other one says antisocial. So I got to see what looks best with what. But I have like some cute white heel platform boots that I want to wear. Perfect for the concert. I've never worn them before. I got like some black, not necessarily leather material, but it's like a very soft leather. Like you almost can't tell it's leather type. I don't know. But yeah, those pants I want to wear. But anyways, um, y'all... I am so glad that when I first started my YouTube, I pumped out all those videos <laughs> because I have just not been in the mood to be on, you know, like I haven't been in the mood to get in the camera talking about, hey, beauties, like I just haven't really been in the mood for that. And so <sighs> it's been hard for me to vlog like. Like I have a couple of come to work with me's I've done that I haven't edited. And I think the editing part is a lot, which is explains why I haven't really posted much because the editing is just ridiculous. Like it takes a long time to edit. So I think that's been my biz biggest excuse is not wanting to edit the content. It's messed up because I just got back from Atlanta. I was out there for like five days. I brought my camera, I brought my batteries, I brought everything I needed to create the perfect travel vlog because I haven't had a travel vlog since last year. Tell me why I got to Atlanta and I just did not feel like it. Like I just didn't feel like putting on. I didn't feel like putting on for the camera. I didn't feel like, hey beauties. I didn't feel like bringing nobody along with everything I'm doing. Like I just did not have the energy to do it. I j and then I had just started my cycle, which I think that had a lot to do with it. Cause when I'm on my cycle, I get real like moody and not for it. 
So I blame it on the cycle, but when I tell you, I really wish I would have vlogged that trip. I think you guys would have enjoyed it. I had went out there for the Bronner Brothers convention. So that's like a beauty convention and a hair show. It's really for cosmetologists, but they have some courses for estheticians as well. And then they have a lot of business courses. So I obviously focused on the business courses and then I was able to take an esthetician class as well. I'm going to just tell you guys about it since I didn't get to vlog it. I definitely, absolutely, positively adore Atlanta. Like, I love it. Mind you, I've been to Atlanta multiple times, but I think this was like my favorite Atlanta trip. Like, the vibe was unmatched. Like, it was giving grown. It was giving lifestyle. It was giving everything it needed to have Gabe. Like, I I ain't gonna lie. Like, I didn't even want to come back home. I was like, ooh, I could live here. And I think what attracted me to it the most is very inspiring to see all those successful Black-owned businesses. Like, you know, because I'm a Black-owned business. And there are times where I kind of feel like, okay, I'm stagnant out here. Like, okay... I do have a successful business. I do work for myself. I don't have another job, but it just kind of be like sometimes now what? And it's like, I want to do certain things, but at the same time, it's just like, do I do them here? Will they thrive here? When do I do them? And then I was just having a conversation with one of my best friends on the phone the other day. Like, okay, how do you differentiate between knowing when it's your time versus God's timing like you know how they say your plan versus God's plan how do you know if your plan isn't in line with God's plan and I was just kind of telling her like well I think you know because it doesn't work out <laughs> like if you try to jump out and do something and it don't work out it just wasn't meant to be I don't know we were really just trying to figure out the timing of it all but long story short I don't know it just seems like all the black businesses in Atlanta are thriving <laughs> so it was definitely inspiring to see as a black business owner coming from California um I think that was probably my favorite part of the trip I'm so sad I didn't vlog like when I looked back because we did a lot like that when I tell you we were there for five days we packed everything in we did everything I had wrote down everything we did so I could talk to you guys about it we got there Friday morning our first stop was toast on Lennox um we had to go have some food i had the catfish and grits my friend had hot honey chicken with yams greens and mac and cheese i think oh i had a biscuit too when i tell you toast on lennox <sighs> that was like the first thing we ate out there that was delicious like i ain't gonna lie the food alone is like another one of my favorite things about Atlanta like all the food is good okay after we did that we went over to the mall because we said we wanted to go you know pick out some stuff because we didn't really pack a lot because we knew we were gonna buy stuff at the convention so we pretty much did not pack a lot so we were able to like go shopping and stuff but we definitely I think we overdid it on the shopping like but we stayed in Buckhead the first night. I was definitely feeling the energy and the vibes. It was giving like not too sophisticated, but just enough. Like it wasn't too country. It was like a balance, like a little bit of country, a little bit of sophistication. It was definitely like my speed because I would like to refer to myself as a classy ratchet, like very classy like if you don't really know me like that you would never even know I was ratchet for real but like if you really know me then you already know what time it is like I can get a little ratchet so Buckhead would definitely be somewhere I could see myself like staying if I ever did want to move down there I loved it it was like just enough city just enough country not too much of either or my brother lives out there too so he was at his friend's birthday dinner and then they were gonna hang out after so I was like okay well we definitely want to go to a lounge tonight so let's link after the dinner so um he was at the blue martini lounge which is right in Buckhead it was like five minutes from our room so we went to the blue martini lounge it was a very nice vibe everybody out there is really giving grown and sexy like 
it wasn't no fighting going on no no ratchet stuff like everybody knows how to have fun and they know how to act and that's one thing i appreciated about out there because i feel like in oakland and just the bay period it's like don't nobody want to even go nowhere because all of the crime that's just unnecessary and childish so i definitely appreciated the grown vibe but blue martini is definitely for the older crowd like it was definitely giving like low-key ogs um, but me and my friend are very mature so we fit right in like it was whatever they were playing really good music of course we ate there too the food of course was great um so that was our friday night we of course got home at about 3 30. it was great i enjoyed myself like can not complain um, okay so saturday we woke up and it was time to get down to business like what we really had went out there for i went to a class on making six figures during part-time hours so uh the lady who taught that class she was pretty much just going over like how to maximize your time working in the salon and what you need to do in order to make six figures without working too hard like her whole tactic was work smarter not harder which i can appreciate because i'm heavy on the work smarter not harder i definitely recommend like all estheticians go do conventions like this it's definitely re-inspiring because i can definitely say i've been feeling very stagnant lately um all these courses that we took pretty much helped me to get re-inspired and just kind of feel like okay I'm on the right track. I'm doing something right. Let me put my foot back on the, you know, the gas pedal and really get serious with it. Um, a lot of these people are black women that were talking in these conventions and just their whole perspective on everything really opened up my eyes to know like, OK, you can do it, too. Like it was very inspiring to see. I took another class on multiple income strategies which was cool because who doesn't want to have multiple forms of income honestly in california nowadays you need multiple forms of income to even like barely survive you need at least one full-time job in california like minimum okay so that was a really helpful class too i enjoyed all of that and then we did our classes in the daytime on saturday so right after class we went over to the boiler seafood in buckhead which was really nice um we actually ended up staying in downtown for the rest of the trip we only stayed in buckhead one night so we were staying downtown which i really liked it was a really nice city vibe i just didn't like the traffic like because there was also um multiple events going on but uh, we went back to Bughead after class. We went to the Boiler, which is like supposed to be a really good seafood spot out there. And honestly, it was. I ended up getting like a really nice, mild, medium spicy crab boil. It was delicious. Like, I really cannot complain. It was great. I had got a side of rice with it. It came with like potatoes, corn, sausage, um, shrimp, crab. Just, it was delicious. Okay. After that, we went back to the room, changed, and then we went to this spot called the Sweet Food Lounge. It was downtown, like five minutes from our hotel. When I tell you lit, <laughs> it was a lounge and it was lit. I feel like everything out there is lit. Let me see if I can pull up a clip. This is them in the club. Like, it really wasn't even a club. It really was a lounge, but you would have thought it was a club. Listen to them. about that what y'all know about Miley Cyrus they were very diverse with the music selection though the crowd was lit of course everybody singing the songs like it we had a time that was Saturday night we had a lot of fun and I appreciated being able to go out in the safe environments because like I said back home it's nothing going on and honestly like it's really it's nothing to do out here like it really sucks so being able to go out and experience all of that it was necessary because we don't do nothing when we're home like all we do is work all day no play um so yeah that was saturday night <laughs> then my friend convinced us to go to a strip club where i'll say convinced me um 
mind you this was some local stuff like this wasn't no magic city keep in mind magic city is local as well but this was like some we was over off in the sticks somewhere like real atlanta okay when i tell you as soon as we got there mind you i really didn't want to go but she wanted to go and she was like you gotta take one for the team because the night before she wanted to go out after we went to the blue martini and i'd be over it like i'll be doing all the after hours and none of that like when i go out when it's over it's i'm going home like i'm not doing all the extras but we was in atlanta we never get out so i was just like you know what <sighs> let's go so i went i did not want to go to this place and when i tell y'all like as soon as we got in the building the ghetto the ghetto okay how about as soon as we get up in there one of the dancers is arguing with a customer because he didn't stole her money so now the security guard is basically kicking this man out they didn't shook him upside down to get her money back all her money ended up falling on the floor i don't know who pepper sprayed who but somebody sprayed some pepper spray and we just paid to get in we're trying to get into the club somebody's pepper spraying all that pepper spray had everybody choking coughing hawking hacking just just you know i was over the whole thing because i'm like i didn't even want to come here and yeah so I'm, my friend, she's still ready. She like, let's get some wings. It's the strip club. The wings is supposed to be good. Like, okay, the wings was hella salty. Whatever though, we waiting at the bar to get our food. I ordered the wings. Um, while we're waiting on our food, some guy comes up to me and he is flexing. Like he is really trying to pop his peas. He's all in my face. Mind you, he's drunk. It's but what, three in the morning at this point? He's drunk. He's in my face talking about you smell good. Woo, woo, woo. He is trying to do his big one. I'm very uninterested because I'm not even like Petey Pablo said, I ain't drunk enough to do that. Okay. Keep in mind, it's low key giving gay. Like, <laughs> nothing against gay people. My best friend's gay. Okay. I love the community. But this one, he was giving like down low and trying to act like he wasn't but he was drunk so his true colors was coming out and he was it was like dude you're contradicting you're trying to get at me but you coming off real flick of the wrist like then he started trying to show off all his jewelry like he had on a rolex watch i ain't gonna lie everything was questionable i really thought all the stuff was fake he had on a big chain a rolex watch a pinky ring like damn near a mirror from head to toe but you know you can get all that stuff fake like jewelry can be fake designer stuff can be fake so it was just given like he was just trying to show off like he was like yeah you see this you see that mind you he's flicking his wrist every which way and i'm just like okay it's a given auntie like you're giving gay auntie gay uncle auntie i just was like i can't even believe he's trying to get at me hold on let me do these brows I wasn't buying with, with nothing he was selling i was over it i'm looking at my friend like girl this is exactly why i didn't want to come in here but fast forward we get our wings it was a mess but we ate the wings they were salty as could be and we took our behinds home went to bed now it's sunday um sunday we decided we wanted to be on some chill stuff so we ended up just um sleeping in we went down to the hotel bar to get us some food um and then we ended up going to the sugar baby creamery which is an ice cream spot that a girl from the bay area ended up opening up and that was very inspiring to see because she wasn't even from the south and she went down there opened it up and it was doing good um she wasn't there but her staff was very amazing they made the ice cream it was rolled ice cream it was really good other people were in there so like the business was running itself and she wasn't even there so it was nice it was really cute in there i definitely liked the vibe my friend got the strawberry shortcake i got the oreo both were really good next time i go i'm definitely getting that strawberry shortcake 
that was Sunday. And then after we went to the Sugar Baby Creamery, we went to Cascades. Mind you, all, Cascades reminded me of the movie ATL. They captured that so well. Like they were even playing some of the same music from the movie. Like people were definitely skating really fast. We could barely keep up. They were doing tricks, um, all kind of cool stuff. Like I have a video of this one couple like it was great just like i think i was so obsessed with the culture of atlanta like it was the culture for me i just loved the culture like oh my god i felt empowered it was so cool like i just couldn't get enough of that culture like that was cool. So then after we went to Cascades, we went to Waffle House and it was a vibe. Like we really did the Atlanta thing. Like we did so much stuff. Um, after Waffle House, we went back to the room, went to sleep. Monday was the last day of classes and the last day of the convention. So um, when we got up, we went to go do our classes. I ended up taking a chemical pill class, which was great and very informative. She was basically just letting us know the do's and don'ts of the chemical pills, what you should and shouldn't do, layering it with dermaplaning, basically like it's really good to do chemical pills after the dermaplane, which I was like, okay, that's good to know. You know, let me add that to the list. So that was nice. They talked about different types of chemical pills, different brands. I definitely want to check out that skincare line PCA for estheticians. The lady was saying like she does all her chemical pills with them. She really trusts their brand. She's been using it for a long time. She likes it. So she had me very interested like, OK, maybe I need to check them out because I have been wanting to venture out on skincare. Like I've been using Image for a really long time. And image is cool, but I definitely want to see what else is out there, especially when it comes to pills, because the image pills, they don't really peel the skin. And a lot of people, when they get a pill, they want to see the pill. They want the downtime. So I'm going to check them out for sure. Then I did a class on business credit and I ended up buying like a manual that the lady was selling on how to build your business credit and how you can get into the different tiers so that you're able to, you know, finance some things with your business credit and get some cars and whatnot. So that was nice. Hold on, let me put this lash on. Speaking of lashes, I tried out a new vendor that they had at the show as well. Because my vendor, they weren't responding when I was trying to get my lash re-up. So I was like, let me try out another vendor just to have like a backup. So I got these lashes from them. You know, I haven't really been feeling like the bold 25mm lashes lately. That's not the speed. That's not the vibe no more. Don't nobody like that. That's out. I really want, so my plan is to wear braids until my birthday, which is in August. So that's six months of braids because it's literally the beginning of March right now. But my plan is to wear braids until my birthday because I get a lot of sew-ins and the problem I'm noticing with the sew-ins is the back of my hair looks really good and the sides that I don't leave out look good, but the sides that I leave out are like leaving off my head and I'm just, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired of it. I don't want to live like this anymore. I feel like it's so ghetto. Like I want to be able to wear my real hair and it all be the same length. Like it's no reason why all of this is nice, thick and long. And then this little side that I left out is shriveled up like enough is enough. So I told myself this year, 2024, I'm going to be disciplined. I'm going to get my braids. Yeah, so I'm just trying to really, I'm about to be 30 this year and it's really childish to have broken off leave out. So I'm really just trying to grow up and make sure that my hair is all healthy in one length, like at this big grown age, like give it a break, babe. <laughs> yeah, so back to Atlanta. We just went back to the hotel bar to get something to eat real quick. And then we rode down to the Perimeter Mall 
which was a really nice mall as well. I actually kind of enjoyed it more than Lennox. Lennox mall was whack. So the hairstyle I'm trying to do is I'm about to do two ponytails and then like a little swoop thing. So two high ponies and a swoop. We did, however, on that first day when we was at Lennox mall, we did go inside of Bloomingdale's and I met a really nice guy that was in the fragrance department. He helped us pick out some really nice fragrances that smelled really good with our body chemistry. One of the ones I got, which I'm gonna wear tonight, is the My Way by Giorgio Armani, the Nectar. Okay, I'm gonna pair it with the Armani My Way oil and my Nicki Minaj Trini Girl oil because it is the Nicki Minaj concert and I do want to smell sweet and good like a Barbie. Yeah, so we did get that. That was cool or whatever, but definitely ended up at um, Perimeter Mall. They had more stuff. I went into this store called Garage. And it was like a cute little, almost kind of like a Brandy Melville type vibe. I got some cute like sweatsuits and like Lululemon type attire. Like super cute because I really do wear sweats majority of the time. Then we was like, okay, it's Monday. It's our last night. Like we really want to do something um, nice. So we ended up going to a steakhouse, which was nasty as hell okay like when I say nasty as hell nasty as hell like it was a terrible like I was very heavily disappointed um it was very expensive the bill came out to 300 and the food was gross it was called steak market I do not recommend absolutely not like y'all got everybody messed up like and it's crazy because the table behind us they was struggling to pay their bill as well because it was so high and it was gross like ill like y'all can't be serious and they was um my friend got lobster which was very rubbery and salty she said it tasted like they just sprinkled a whole bunch of obey on top like they just went like this on top of the uh, lobster gross i had got lamb chops mind you them things was burnt and had zero flavor so that was heavily disappointing burnt and no flavor so there was that we got two drinks and then we got mashed potatoes and we got what was supposed to be broccolini but it ended up just being broccoli and that was nasty as well it wasn't nasty it just wasn't broccolini it was very like okay what is this maybe here it's done yep and then we had got like two little fiery drinks you know how i don't know i feel like restaurants be trying to like woo you with the drinks but it's like i really came for the food like damn these drinks they love to woo you with a drink and act like it's just gonna be top notch like no no but yeah so that was our last night um very upset that we wasted our money other than that everywhere we ate was really good all the vibes were good all the people were really nice very southern hospitality we both were just like in love with the whole vibe like we were both in awe and shock and love uh, after we went there we were done going out like we had had enough of the going out thing we just went back to the room packed up all our stuff got ready to say our goodbyes real sad like wow is it over it's over monday morning we woke up checked out we went to grits and eggs for like a one last hoorah we had a um, breakfast there so that was nice the food was uh, delicious <laughs> so grits and eggs made up for that nasty steakhouse that we had visited um and then we got up out of there went to the airport and it was over so i enjoyed the trip big time it really made me realize like i need to get away more often i used to travel a lot and then my grandmother got sick and then i had to cut back on traveling because i ended up really having to take care of her so this was like my first time really just being able to travel like stress-free and it made me realize like I definitely need to travel more. 
I need to get back into it. Um, 2022, I was definitely like traveling a lot in the beginning of 2023, but then I started slowing down. I went to Atlanta to do a pop up spot in 2022. Like, I'm low key ready to get it back going. Like, I'm ready to do another pop up spot out there and just get back on my, like, I'm out of town. Like, thug it with my rounds. Cause it really don't be nothing going on back here in Cali. Like, I love Cali, don't get me wrong. Like, it's just nothing to do. <laughs> like, it made me realize, like, dang, I love traveling. I gotta get back out the house. I didn't even wanna come back home. I haven't traveled in so long, so I think I have forgot what it was like. What else? I enjoyed the lifestyle. Like Atlanta has its own little vibe going on. Like it's not like Houston. It's not like here. It's not like anywhere. It's very much, it's doing its own thing. You know how you do a style at night and then when it's time to get up and do it, it don't be doing what it's supposed to be doing. Whatever. So it is what it is. It made me want to really step my game up as far as like business wise like there's so much more I could be doing and I just feel like I really low-key be sleeping on myself. I'm definitely low-key ready to get it going. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do but I'm ready to do something. Let me go put my outfit on. I have two different outfits that I'm like debating on so I'm gonna try them on and then I'll come back with which one I think looks best. I'll be right back. I'm wearing the Barbie shirt. I have on these pants and then these super cute platform black and white boots that I never get to wear. So I'm ready to rock. I'm ready to high heels on my tippies. <laughs> Don't change and good by my best on my. So yes, I'm ready. It's been real. But I'm getting ready to go enjoy the Nikki show tonight and be grown. So I will talk to you guys later. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys later. It makes me wonder who you think playing with. I'm just a myself to keep playing this record back over and over again.